Hello, it's Felicity here, and in this video, we are going to explore the general energy at play for those of you who have Moon or Rising in Virgo, and one card has been drawn uh, to look at Sun in Virgo also, and so um, we will explore the energy in area of career, romantic life, and also marriage or family life. And this is the card for you in May, and it describes the general energy. And it seems that um, in May, you will get in touch with your inner side, and you learn about passionate side of you, and also uh, a lot of uh, passionate fire energy is going on, and it connects with uh, your creative side as well. And uh, so, after knowing about what you want, and and after knowing your ideas about your future and what you want to do with your future, you will shedding some old patterns and then you replace the old patterns with the new ideas, new pattern in order to help you to move forward because um, it seems that uh, it is time to uh, let go of the old patterns and to break through and then you will be moving forward with the help of the new ideas, with the help of the new patterns shaped in this month. And so it's good to reconnect with your inner self, ask yourself what you want for your future. And in the area of career, it seems that um, there may be a little bit of traveling to do. And uh, this month, you will be moving upward like uh, there's uh, energy helping you to move upward and then move forward in your career. Something may be happening very quickly and then, uh, but you are in control because you are ready and you are in control of the situation in this month. Even though there will be a little bit of uh, uh, maybe traveling, uh, uh, a little bit of idea moving around, and uh, you are able to catch the ideas, uh, people throwing at you, and then you catch your idea, and then it actually help you to uh, move forward in your career, to help you to uh, to get what you want in your in your future career. So this is a really good month because the energy is helping you, and there may maybe a little bit of uh, communication going on, maybe a little bit of traveling going on you are ready, you are in control of the situation. And in the area of marriage or family life, and uh, this month uh, you learn how to balance your uh, fireside, balance your emotion and also your creative, your passionate side. Because um, if you are feeling uh, the strong fire energy within you, maybe it is time to calm down because sometimes uh, if we let the fire out of control, we will hurt others because fire is very strong, it's strength, it is your personal power and so um, if you are irritated and if you are feeling annoyed, remember to calm down, to get in touch with your water element. Water element is your gentle soft side and so uh, if um, you if there's maybe conflict and you will you will have the upper hand in this month because uh, the fire element can really help you can really help you to uh, settle down some conflicts and in the area of romantic life it seems that uh, you protect your heart, you protect yourself. It is understandable because uh, maybe there will be some wounds in the past that keep you from socializing, keep you from reaching outward. And uh, the card suggests you when it comes to relationship, it's a very good idea to listen to yourself, to listen to your intuition because um, females or, or we humans, we are always receiving guidance from the higher power, from the universe. It's really good to make your own judgment when it comes to meeting new people, when it comes to trusting people, when it comes to relationship. And so uh, 
try to break out of this uh, ice. Um, so it, it, it's like you are protecting, surrounding yourself with some ice, with some snow. So it's time to uh, open your heart, open up your heart and uh, use your passion to connect with others and use your intuition as well to connect with others. So uh, if you want to start a relationship first, you need to learn to trust in relationship again. You need to trust love again and see what you have learned from the past because the past uh, can really help you to make a sound decision when it comes to relationship. So trust is very important. And uh, this is this is the sun. Uh, this is the card draw for sun in uh, Virgo, and so uh, sometimes uh, Virgo may be quick to judge, and uh, it is because um, you want to protect yourself, but at the same time you want to break out of the cage to feel the freedom of trusting others, to feel the freedom of. Uh, trusting yourself when it comes to making decision and uh, you have the wise side of you you uh, know about yourself and and so uh, but sometimes you will be uh, like uh, wearing a mask when it comes to uh, meeting people it is this mask uh, that protect yourself um, but at the same time it's good to uh, switch is good to uh, switch uh, your uh, vision to use another side of you to uh, get to know the person for example the intuition side of you and to it is time to break through to break out of the uh, old pattern to break out of the old wounds in order to trust again in order to, to uh, make the sound decision it's also good to show your true side show a little bit of vulnerability when it comes to meeting new people because uh, uh, being vulnerable means that you are willing to establish a strong bond with others especially the strong bond emotional bond with the others and so trust yourself when it comes to connecting with people build a strong bond with those whom you feel you can trust i hope you enjoyed this video and see you next month for more detailed reading please visit my website by clicking the link in the description box below see you next month bye